to show you how cool I am. And uh, let's see if we we're going to solve this absolute value inequality, and then we're going to graph it. So to do this, the first thing we want to do is remember we have an absolute value. Um, we can write that as uh, two different solutions, where we have 3x minus 4 is greater than 10. And then remember, when we do, if I was going to do this as 3x minus 4, well, if I was going to make this a negative 10, all right, what that's kind of symbolizing is I'm changing um, that sign. When I change the sign, remember, when, remember on, uh, on inequalities where you divide or multiply by negative 1 on both sides? You have to change the sign. Well, that's exactly the same thing true with for absolute value inequalities. So if I'm going to change this, I need to also change the sign. Okay. So this is just like if this was an equation, you would do the exact same thing. But for inequalities, when you have a greater than, you're going to do the exact same thing, but you need to see, make sure you change the sign. So now what I can do is I'm just going to solve each inequality just like it's an equation. I'll add a 4 on both sides. Therefore, I get 3x is greater than 14. Divide by 3. x is going to equal... 3 goes into 14 4 times and 2 thirds, so 4.66. And then here I get uh, 3x is less than negative 6, divide by 3, and I get x is equal to, or I'm sorry, x is less than negative 2. So uh, the next thing that I want to create now is I need to do my number line. Ah, oh, this is greater than, right? So my number line is going to have to at least include 4 and 2 thirds and negative 2. So I'll make sure at least I have that. 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I'm going to, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plot both these points. So I'm going to plot negative 2, and I'll plot 4 and 2 thirds, which would roughly be about there. Uh, and if you don't know how to plot 4 and 2 thirds, just break up, you know, here's 4, here's 5. Well, 1 third would be here, 2 thirds would be here, and 3 thirds would be there. So just break it up into plots. So this says all the values that are greater than 2 thirds. And since it's not greater or equal to, it's just greater than, my circle is going to remain open. So all values greater than 4 and 2 thirds. Well, 5 is greater than, so is 6. Then over here, I say all values that are less than negative 2. Well, what's less than negative 2? Negative 3 or negative 1? Well, negative 3 is less than, right? If you have negative $3, you have less money than someone that has negative $2. And then remember um, that both these circles are going to be open since these are less than um, symbols. And that's it. Concentrate.